Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. I would also like to give a double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I lent us 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered through all four corners of this earth. Now let's just buy on back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and as you Akiyam and Akwaf may already know, um, but that, you know, that clown that goes by the name uh, Brother Polite, you know, he came up on some juicy charges, man. He came up, he came up on some juicy charges, you know, similar charges. You know, he was slandering the brothers, the elders and the apostles on down the Great Millstone for him, huh? You know, as far as rape and, you know, you know, touching touching young girls, 12 year old, 13, 14 year old girls and whatnot. He came up on that. He came up on the same charges, man, that he was slandering the elders and the apostles on down with some time ago. You see? And in the world, they'll call that karma. You see? But the scriptures, you reap what you sow. Is how it's referred to in the scriptures. You know, this man, you know, came up to the church on more than one occasion with his folly. And what he didn't realize was that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was watching every move he was making and listening in on every word he spoke. And what he didn't realize was you cannot mock. The Lord. He didn't realize you cannot mock the Lord. Be not de be not deceived, man. Let's get that, and I'm gonna show you uh, you Aki Yamanakwath uh, some videos, pretty much. You know, condemning this man, man. You know, these videos giving credence to the fact that this man's guilty, man. But let's uh, before I do that, let's get the Book of Galatians. The sixth chapter and the seventh verse. The book of Galatians, the sixth chapter and the seventh verse, and it reads, Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Making sure they said that you said it was okay to rape 12 year old girls. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Down. Okay, good. Okay, that's what I want. Slander. That's, that's slander. what I'm saying. Yeah, I wanted to slander. know. I didn't slander. put that on you. I didn't put it on you. No, you know what I put? You can jump off of this. We'll go live. I did 65 to 12. Therefore, I'm looking at my good brothers, the Hebrew Israelites in Miami. He's all bowed down to the slaughter because what I called. We're gonna have a nice deal. Last night, you did not hear. But then, even Miami, my eyes, uh, GMS. Say it again, brother. Hey, read that scripture again, because he out there moving his phone around. I'm coming, my brother. I apologize. I said 65 or 12. Therefore, when I number you to a sword, you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. It's a lot of here. You went up there to the elders? Yes, sir. I was the heavenly father called me. He yeah. called you, you didn't ask him. He called me to do what? To, to take heed to your heritage, to okay. your nationality, and understand the words of the heavenly father. You rejected him. All right. So and then you said it yourself. You said, hey, y'all almost had me. That's right. That's right. The That's right. They almost had me until right. you said, now, hold on. We, we can't. We got to address the elephant in the room before we go forward. Yes. I said that the brother said he could have sex with minors, namely 12-year-olds, which brother to her. We asked him. And he said, yeah, brother, yes. Now, you said in the kingdom. So in the kingdom of the Most High, y'all can have sex with 12-year-olds. That's what you're saying, brother? Right, yes. 12 and 13, right? What does a woman get? Their menstrual cycle, right? Yes, that's the She becomes a woman, right? Around 12 or 13, right? Uh, you agree? Well, you agree with that. Does a woman become a woman, a woman when she gets, gets her menstrual cycle? cycle. When she gets her period. When she gets her period. All right? When she starts bleeding, right? Because she's, she's not able bleeding. to have children. Uh, so I, don't, I, don't see, age, right? I don't see a young lady okay. as being a woman. Why? Hold on. I don't see a young lady as being a woman because she's on her menstruation. Okay. I don't see that now. 
Now, this is a part or a step a into womanhood or into motherhood. I can see this being a step into motherhood, but motherhood doesn't mean consummation of a marriage or illegitimate sex acts against a child at that age. I don't know what kingdom y'all talking about, but how could a scripture prepare you for a heaven? I'm presuming. Prepare you for a heaven where you can have sex with 12 year olds or anyone even younger so long as they're on their menstruation and you're not going to perpetrate that in real life? You're not going to attempt to have heaven on earth? You're no. talking about this this mythical. Oh, peace, brother Polite. Hey, what's up, King? Well, I want you to know I'm live. Do you want to talk or no? I'm actually traveling, but what's going on? All right, I'm quite sure you see the internet is lit up, people is talking crazy. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling you something crazy. Yeah, people are talking crazy that um you had molested a 14 year old girl. I don't know how true it is. That's why I said I'm not gonna jump out the window. I'm not saying none of that until we can find out what's really good. And um, I don't know if you want to talk or we can set something up probably tomorrow whenever you stop traveling or whatever. Now, you know, you know we don't play those games. Just okay. like when niggas was coming at me with all the goofy shit before. Okay, okay. You know, when people make serious charge, when people make serious allegations like that, you know YouTube ain't the place where you deal with it. Got you. I got you. Know, you I stay with our own fucking legal team. You know what I'm saying? Say less. But what I'll tell you is this. You know, I ain't no fucking weirdo. You see all the beautiful, voluptuous people I be with? Yeah. So I ain't a weirdo. That's what it is. But I, I know what it is for people. Yeah. When you make a very yeah. negative accusation against mm. somebody, some accusations are so negative, you be like, yo, that shit's so negative. It got to be true because who would say something that negative? Damn. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how that shit is. But you know, I ain't gonna speak on it any further. But I, I tell you this: if I if I accuse somebody of some shit, niggas gonna buy into it. Niggas don't. Niggas hate me. But if somebody accuses me of something, it's always true. But I'm always walking around free. Right. It's always true. But I'm always free. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I just say got no wind more. Of it. Say no more, man. But no you know, more. love you, man. Thank you for even uh, right. just asking me. All right. You know, and being a brother, down. just asking. Yes. But uh, I thank you very much. But you know how we got to do when it comes to this type of goofy shit. You got to leave it in the hands of the people right. that deal with that kind of negativity. There you go. You know what I, I'm saying? I agree. I agree. <laughs> but, All right. Peace. Yes, I that. can't do it in the world of YouTube. Peace. All right. So that's why I was saying, Sutek, that I'm not going to jump out the window and just say some crazy right, shit. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to put my right. foot in my mouth. I let them niggas do that. Y'all. And, um, you know, groping her thighs and her butt. And furthermore, the victim, um, who is his girlfriend's daughter. Hold on, I'm almost forgetting where I'm reading. Okay. Uh, stated that defendant Noah sat her on the bed as he pulled out his, you know, and outside of his boxers, okay? Shorts, underwear, while he grabbed her head and pushed it towards his genital area. And victim T.S. lost consciousness, okay? Now, he's supposed to be a conscious leader. And that little girl, okay. Um, I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna learn today. Uh, she later awoke while the defending Noah was forcibly trying to make her throw up by pushing his fingers in her throat and down her throat. Defending Noah, who is Brother Polite, okay, then took victim T.S. to her mother's hotel, uh, who was staying at another hotel in Miami on Collins Avenue, where Miss Orocho noticed, who is the mom to the daughter, that the victim T.S. was severely intoxicated and possibly under the influence of an unknown drug and victim and the 14-year-old victim had severe swelling on the victim's mouth, lips, area. Defendant Nowak, who is brother polite, told his girlfriend, Miss Orocho, not to call the police because if she did, she would ruin his career. This is exactly what he stated, okay? Of course, we got to say allegedly, but, you know, they got the, they got the semen. Anyway, um, let me keep going. So... Kal halal yam la Yahweh ba shemi shai. That man got exactly what he deserved. You see, you got to tread softly when you're dealing with the men of the Lord. You know, the men, the men of the elders and apostles, the great millstone on down. These men are serving the Lord with their whole heart. You know. And they're, they're, they're teaching the scriptures and it's full veracity. And some people just can't get it. So they decide they want to mock, they want to scoff. 
And they find themselves in the situation that brother polites and they find themselves in the hot seat. You see? They find themselves in the hot seat. Now he's the laughing stock of social media. He's the laughing stock of his peers. He's been exposed. And it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The spirit of truth is resting upon the planet Earth. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is being exposed, you know, for his for his moves, for his agenda, you know, for everything he's trying to pull. You know, you got these, you got these, uh, these these wayward doctrine camps, you know, IUIC, you know, um, one body under Satan. You know, you got all these other clowns, you know, believers of the way, you know, they they're being exposed for their blasphemy. And for their lack of the Holy Spirit. And, and, and you mockers and you scorners are being exposed, man. For the dirt that you're doing. You know? Because the spirit of truth, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is resting upon the planet Earth. You see? Now I just want to get one more scripture before I close out. I want to get the book of Proverbs. 30th chapter I think I passed it in the 10th verse and it reads accuse not a servant unto his master lest he curse thee and thou be found guilty you see Accuse not a servant unto his master. Brother brother Polite was accusing the servants of the Lord of, 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 of slander. He was slandering them, man. He was accusing them of, of, of believing in, you know, having, you know, a relationship with young girls, man. With kids. He was, he was slandering them, accusing them for pedophilia or, what's, or whatnot. You know? And he he had to eat those words, man. Lest he curse thee, and I won't be I won't be I'm not surprised if if the brothers that he rolled up on, you know, in Miami and you know the elders and apostles as well when he went when he rolled up on them, I wouldn't be surprised if they did put a curse up uh, up on him. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, if you ask me, they probably did. You know, and and, and he he thought he was good to go. You know, he did his dirt. He was doing this thing. Hey. It may, it may tarry, you know, it may tarry, but wait for it, you know, wait for it. And here he is, he's in the hot seat, he's in the hot seat. It's not a coincidence that he's being, that he, that he's being called up on charges on the same thing he was slandering the men, the men of, of Great Millstone for, man. This is not, this is not a coincidence, man. This is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And thou be found Guilty, you see. Call halalim la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's pretty much the point, you know. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call halalim la Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Shalom Akiyam.